If I were going to define a single trait that has come to epitomize Musk or conservatives in general, it's this single value that the rich and their allies in government can do anything they feel like, take anything they want, and leave people to die. In fact, death is often the preferable outcome. Long gone are the set of principles conservatives claim to hold dear, but a few years or even a decade ago, things like financial and moral probity, law and order, personal responsibility, God and country, and a rising tide lifting all boats. They don't say them much now, except the God and country part. Well, between fits of rage of whatever they decide to call woke each week, trickle down was only leeching away in privatization and ask that we cede control of our lives to totalitarian control by wealth. None of it was a path to liberty, only misery and death. Conservatives are the antithesis of anything that is good, or kind, even-handed, honest, or trustworthy. Ne'er-do-wells. Is that PG enough? With problematic individuals, with unhinged, emotionally disturbed shitbirds. Derek Van Orden, Republican from Wisconsin, is one of these, uh, there was an incident back in 2021, I believe, when he was campaigning for the office he now holds, congressman, where he accosted a teenage library employee and Derek Van Orden freaked out, screaming and yelling and being aggressive and shoving the poking at the books and scaring this young girl who went to her parents the next day or that evening and said, I don't feel comfortable going back there. I don't feel safe because of this former Navy SEAL who, ah, I need my safe space from this gay bunny book. And if that were it, you know, it'd be bad enough, but he's also, ple he's pleaded guilty to trying to carry a fully loaded firearm on a plane in an airport in Iowa. And now he's attacking children yet again in the Capitol, screaming curse words, calling them like idiots. This is from the Hill. Jackasses, little shits, GOP congressman curses out teenage Senate pages. They are a cult that worships stochastic human sacrifice and see death and misery as their Eucharist. Move fast and break things, they say, every man for himself. I came of age in the years of the Cold War, which ended after I had left college and been working for a few years. The era had its iconic phrases like godless communism, or better dead than red, which was shot out at any critic of business conduct, or read that as capitalism. The phrase has come full circle in meaning and directly applies to conservatism today. It is godless, unethical, immoral, and criminal, and it is destroying the nation. I want your take on what's happening on the southern border. You have the governor of Texas with this, I don't even know what to call it. He's putting a floating barrier in the Rio Grande, covering it in barbed wire. Kids are literally drowning. We're hearing anecdotally about some state troopers, maybe even Customs and Border Patrol, but I think they're mostly state authorities resisting. Uh, not in an organized way, but at least in their comments to media outlets saying, this is, this is too much. I can't throw one more kid back into the Rio Grande. 
did your researchers come across any of that that moral reaction on the front lines? Yeah, we we privately hear this stuff all the time, and it, and it you know it's it's kind of heartbreaking for me personally. I mean, my father was a state trooper, you know, for twenty years when I was growing up, and I I looked up to him, and I still I still do, and, and greatly respect you know why he wore that uniform. Um, you know, a lot of other people in my family are in law enforcement. I'm trying to imagine what it'd be like to have my dad come home and you know say to us at the kitchen table, well, you know, today the the governor of in this case, New Hampshire ordered me to throw a bunch of kids in a river. I mean, first of all, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have done it. And second of all, I mean, that's a, that's a heck of a thing to have to carry around as somebody who signed up to do the right thing, you know? So I don't, I don't want to,